work on application, it teaches you how to have and maintain and use those things in relation to an outside force or entity. So, if all you do is form, you know how to maintain your, ba your balance, and you may be able to maintain it very well. Lift your leg up really high and be very steady when you kick and do this, and, and go down very low, and, and all of those things, and, and that's your own, within a bubble, so to speak, development. But when someone comes along and they shove you, if you have not practiced <clears throat> with an outside force, then you, don't, you won't have the nuances in order to adjust in real time to outside forces is very important. And, and if I was defending, I wouldn't just wither away and let you overtake me, right? I would want to take control of you. So I want to connect, I want to feel your center, and I want to guide you to where I want you to be. So there's a term in Tai Chi that's used, steel wrapped in cotton is what you feel. It's soft, but yet solid, right? So you'll feel some initial give kind of, right? And then you'll hit a point where you say, man, this, you know, it's, it feels unmovable like a mountain, right? You feel unmovable. And the more they push, the more they just feel like, man, I'm just doing nothing. And then the, the mountain starts to move, right? And it redirects you. And then the mountain body, my arm comes closer into my body, then that allows my shoulders and elbows to drop out here they're holding up my arm. They have a sense of stress in there. So when I go to turn, all the stress goes into the joints. I don't want the stress going into the joints. So I relax, I let you come in, and I, and I can just hold you here all day, it doesn't matter. If I, re then when I rotate, that's where the power, the stress is coming, because it's my body connected to my feet. They want to call it a root, my relationship to the ground, whatever you want to call it, and then I come back. Which doesn't start here, disconnected. So just think, if someone's here, and just take a little, yeah, like you are, like a little stance. If someone's here, think of putting some super glue on your hands and gluing your hands to them. Now, that's how you have to push. Mm -hmm. So you have to beat it. So now, everything you do has to be from the waist down. This, you know, you, you, you don't have this momentum, this momentum here to come here and to shove out. You can't do that. Because you just stick your hands, put them where you want to, or where, whatever. Your hands are there. Now you put your body in the position that you need to be in. And now from there, only thing you can do is use the lower body, the pressure to burn. You come back, super glue, and bang. Come back, super glue, and bang. It doesn't do me any good to create pressure and push up and then do this because that energy has been exhausted already. I exhausted it and then I'm doing this. Now I'm just pushing with my arms, right? Mm -hmm. So what was that for? It didn't have any purpose, right? I just expended that energy that comes from the ground. I did it. Now there's nothing and now I did that. I may as well have just been standing there and did that, right? So you don't actually create that pressure or that pressing into the ground until you're touching someone. We touch and then we go. We make contact, we feel their center. Once we know what we have, we go, right? So, <clears throat> so if I'm here <clears throat> and I come in, see, I'm not pressing yet. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm not pressing yet. But my hands are on you now, I've touched. So now the pressure from my leg starts to, my foot against the ground goes. And it moves this all in one. It's all together, pressing. <clears throat> As I press, you go. <coughs> Excuse me, because it's coming all, all at once. Here. All in. Choo, right? You begin to understand the idea of being ready all the time. Like when you're pushing hands, you, you feel you're ready. Even before we touch, I'm ready. So I touch you in such a way that I'm in a superior position. In other words, many people will push hands and they'll just touch. And then someone will say something or they start or whatever and then they start trying to find <coughs> a superior position you should be in a superior position this is, is the goal so when you start when i touch you notice i'm not doing this a lot of people will sit and they'll do stuff like this i i'm stepping in 
I'm actually stepping up. I'm in the strong position. I got my shoulder down, my elbow down here. My body's in a position so that when you start to apply pressure, I use ground strength and I can use my waist and ward you off and come back and do whatever it is I want to do. As soon as he goes to push, as soon as he goes to attack, I take it away. I don't wait until he pushes here and I'm here, right? I'm all jammed up. Now, now if you got jammed up, you could get unjammed by doing that, of course. But why get jammed up first? Take it away before he builds his head of steam up, right? So when I come here, he gets ready to push, and I take it as he, as soon as he starts, I take it away and go right here. So he's helping me with this part. You would have helped me because when you push, See, sorry, you're helping me. Yeah. And if you decide to stop it in the middle, then I come back and do that. <laughs>